Hi everybody, I'm Danny from UGL with a great do-it-yourself project. I'm going to show you how to apply a faux wood grain finish to any kind of door. Wooden, fiberglass, steel. This happens to be a, a kitchen door that was in my kitchen. It was white, really beaten up and scratched. I took the door off. I sanded it really well. I rubbed it all down with mineral spirits to clean off all the dirt and the dust and the oil and the grease so that our new finish will take really well. Now I'm going to use Czar oil-based wood stain in the color Teak Natural. I love these Czar stains because they go on wonderfully and they dry really quickly. And I'm also going to use the Czar graining tool. This is a very inexpensive tool that you can find at just about any do-it-yourself hardware store. I'm just going to apply the stain and we're going to show you how your door could look absolutely gorgeous. Let's get started. The first step is to apply a very thin coat of stain. Now I'm working on the inside panels of the door to the outside rails of the door. A very common mistake in doing this project is applying too much stain. So you really want to make sure that you have a nice light coat of stain. If it's too heavy, it doesn't really work so well. Work it into the corners really well. We're going to cover the whole panel with one light coat. Now don't worry about the corners of the panel just yet because I'm going to show you how to work on those if we get a little too much stain built up in there. Once we have a nice light coat of stain on our door panel, we're going to take our graining tool and we're going to start at the top and we're going to press very firmly down the length of the door and as we do we're going to gently rock and as we do it's going to create this grain effect And this is a little trial and error here. It takes a little getting used to. Don't be afraid. Try to keep it in one smooth motion. And if you mess up, it's okay, because we can go back, apply some additional stain, as you can see. And we'll do the process all over again. Start at the top, pull down in one smooth motion, you get that really interesting and very realistic wood grain effect. Now, for the outside of the frame, we're going to take an old dry brush. We're just going to work the stain in the best that we can there just to pull it, kind of make a, a bit of our own handmade look wood grain effect. And as you can see, the effect is very interesting. All right, we're finished with our center panels and as you can see, it's really starting to come along. The next step is to do the rails inside. Those are these long pieces on the inside of the door and we're gonna save the outside rails for last. Now it's important when you're doing this project to clear out the excess stain that might build up in your graining tool so that you don't ruin the effect. All right, so we've done our inside rails and now we're going to finish with our outside rails. And the reason why we save those for last is because we want a nice clean grain going all the way down the outside.
All right, so that's the first step of doing this project. It really looks good. We've got an, uh, two more steps. We're going to apply another coat of stain after this dries and then a clear coat and you'll be amazed at how this looks. Now it's important to remember all of your materials that you use to do your staining you have to dispose of correctly. Put them in a sealed container, brushes, rags, put them all inside, add some water, make sure they're wet, and seal them up before you throw them away. Safety first. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. It's been about two hours. And uh, as I mentioned before, I love this czar stain because it dries really quickly. The next step is to take a soft cloth and we're going to apply a thin layer of stain, thin and even over the entire door. Again, I'm gonna start with my inside panels and I'm gonna work my way out. Let's get started. Nice, light, even coat. And as you can see, our grain, our wonderful grain pattern, it shines right through the stain and gives us that great wood grain effect. Now, one more trick is if you have a door in your home that is dark, just give it a coat of white paint or a very light color, a white primer. Could be uh, just about any kind of primer to go over the door before you start this project. Boy, that looks really good. All right, we're gonna do the rest of our door. All right, well, there it is. Our second step complete. And boy, this door is looking really sharp. We're gonna let this dry, and then we're gonna give it a coat of clear polyurethane, and you're gonna see the final result. Well, there you have it, our finished door. I think it turned out pretty nice if I do say so myself. This was a pretty simple project, pretty straightforward. And we came back and we gave it a coat of Czar Interior Ultramax Polyurethane. This is a great product from Czar that dries very hard and it dries very quickly. Now, this is a project that, believe me, if I could do, anyone could do. And I'm pretty happy with the results.